Tensions between Nigerian farmers and Katsu rarers have been rising for quite some time. It was noted on the government level that the dispute is gaining catastrophic proportions. What is happening and how are the authorities reacting? At first, the clashes over farmlands, crops, grazing areas and water mostly happened in Nigerian central region. But climate change affected the grazing lands available there. That is why the herdsmen had to move further to the south in search of new resources. The presidency is stressing that the herdsmen versus farmers issues is not in any way new or specific to President Muhammad Buhari's government. Over the past couple of decades, thousands of people have lost their lives and have been displaced because of the conflicts. The farmers accused the animal rarers of crops damage and failing to control the animals. The crops they planned and planned on harvesting have been destroyed by the herdsmen and their cattle. And when the farmers try to protect their farmlands or alert the police, the heavily armed herdsmen violently attack them. In their tone, the herders say that the only resort to defending themselves in case others steal their cattle or attack members of their community. Earlier, such conflict used to be settled in a friendly, non-violent manner. But now, the herdsmen say people are quick to accuse them for essentially anything. The true perpetrators and troublemakers may not even be Nigerian natives, but come from across the borders. Cameroon, for instance, the herdsmen say. Recently, Benue, Nasara and Taraba states have been main site for the clashes. Sadly, hundreds of Nigerians have already lost their lives in the first weeks of 2018, and dozens of farms have been destroyed. To tackle insecurity in the area, the Nigerian army has deployed special forces to the most problematic areas. In Benue state in particular, open cattle grazing has been banned since November 2017. Local animal rarers feel that the ban is unfair. The Nigerian Minister of Defense, Mansu Dan Ali, criticized the ban. Nigerians must learn to live together peacefully and learn how to accept foreigners, he said. Cattle rarers are important to Nigerian social economic environment as are farmers. The consequences of poverty, social and food insecurity are grave, as are ethnic and religious dimensions that the conflict seem to be plunging into. The prospect of Nigeria turning into a land of mini wars between herdsmen and farmers must never turn into reality. Look at Oshun states, the cattle rarers who live there say they have been peacefully cohabitating with the local folks for decades. No farmlands, no ethnic or religious conflicts between them. Can this tendency become the reality for the entire Nigeria?